Today we are want to solve an Olympiad mathematics. This is uh, a two equations of three unknowns. And normally when you have three unknowns, you have to use a determinant. But here we want to try to manipulate and get the value of x, y, z. Before I start solving this uh, question, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and share this video. Let's start. In having a question like this, x, y plus y, z is equal to 3. Let's represent by equation 1. x, z plus y, z is equal to 3. Let's represent by equation 2. From equation 1, you know, we have x, y plus y, z is equal to 63. You realize that y is common. You have x, x plus z is equal to 63. So if y is common and x plus z bracket equals 3, let's call this equation 3. Let's try to manipulate the equation 2, which we have xz plus yz is equal to 23. So now you discover that z is common. z is common, x plus y is equal to 23. Now, we, ca we can call this equation 4. So, this is, if this is equation 4, now let's reason better. Recall that 23 is a prime number. Prime number. And what you understand by prime number is, if 23 is a prime number, meaning that the only number that 23 can be its own factor is, 23 can only be 1 times 23. Recall, we are talking about the real number, meaning that if 23 is equal to 1 times uh, one times 23, meaning that y onto x plus z, which is equal to 63, so meaning that, uh, so sorry, this is x, the equation z, z onto x plus y, is equal to 23. We are considering equation 4. Now, if z bracket s plus y is 23, it means that it is it cannot be z cannot be 23, whereby s plus 1, s plus y is equal to 1 because we are dealing about the real number, meaning that z will be equal to, you know, this is 1 times 23, so z will be 1 and x plus y will be 23. Why? Because we are doing uh, the y, x, y, z, they are a real number. So if they were a real number, you cannot just say that x plus y is equal to 1. It means that z is equal to 1. So it means that x plus y it is the one that will give you 23. So if z is equal to 1 and x plus y is equal to 23, equation 6, Equation 5. So x plus y is equal to 3. Recall from here, which we have y onto x plus z, which is equal to 63. And you're able to realize one fact that we have gotten the value of our z to be 1. So y is equal to x plus 1 is equal to 63. So if this is this, let's try to manipulate a little bit. We have y x plus y is equal to 63. So we call this one equation 6. So if y z plus y is equal to 3 and x plus y is equal to 23. So let's try to make y or s as a subject of the formula. So therefore, our x is equal to 23 minus y. So if our s is 23 minus y, let's now put to half y, our x is this, 23 minus y plus y is equal to 63. So, therefore, we have uh, 23 y minus y squared plus y is equal to 63. So, let's try to rearrange it better. So, this and this we combine, we give you 24. Meaning that 24 y minus y squared is equal to 63. Let's try to turn it to the other side. 
we have y squared minus 24y plus 63 is equal to 0. So now, let's try to find the factor of 63. So what is the factor of 63? 63 as a factor can give us, by the time you divide by 3, we have 3 times 2, 1. So the factor of 63 can give you 3 times 21. So if the factor of 63 can give you 3 times 21, meaning that if we have y squared minus 3y minus 21y plus 3 can factorize this value. So therefore, let's try to group to have y squared minus 3y is common. 20y plus 63, they are also common. So it's equal to 0. So we have y is common here. We have y minus 3. Minus 21 is common. We have y minus 3. It's equal to 0. So if these are the two that are common, we have y minus 21 onto y minus 3 is equal to 0. And in maybe you have been uh, seeing this kind of equation in quadratic form. Before you have the right to say y minus 21 is equal to 0, it means that if a times b is equal to 0, it means that it is either a 0 or b is equal to 0. So it is either y minus 21 is equal to 0 or y minus 3 is equal to 0. So that's why we have the right to now write that y minus 21 is equal to 0 or y minus 3 is equal to 0. y is equal to 21 or y is equal to 3. So that is why we have the right to do this because a is equal to 0 or this, when you multiply 0 with a value, you must surely give you 0. That's why we have the right to say y minus 21 is equal to 0 and y minus 3 is equal to 0. So y is equal to 21 or y is equal to 3. So now, you only leave uh, z. So we now consider the value of x because the y real number. You have to consider the value of z when y is 21. You con uh, The value of x. So the value of x when y is equal to 3. So let's do that. Let's try to find the... So, therefore, when y is equal to 21, so for y is equal to 21, recall that I said that our x is equal to 23 minus y, which is 23 minus 21. So our x will now give us, 23 minus 21 will give us 2. So that is from here, our y is 21. Yeah, good. So when y is equal to 3, when y is equal to 3, we have s is equal to 23 minus 3, which is equal to 20. So now, the real value of x, y, z is this. For the two conditions, so now, Z is equal to 1. That is number 1. So now you now say that X is equal to, from here, X is equal to 2. Y is equal to, Y is equal to 21. Or Z is equal to 1. X is equal to 20. And the Y is equal to 3. So, these are the value of x, y, z. We have z is equal to 1. x is equal to 2. y is equal to 21. Or z is equal to 1. x is equal to 20. y is equal to 20. And y is equal to 3. So this, it, this is the solution for this Olympiad mathematics. This is what we call an Olympiad mathematics. So... This is the way we do it. So please don't forget to subscribe to this channel so we're able to see more of this solution. How to, to, to solve a, a, a kind of equation in this form, the medium, the lower, and the higher. So thanks for watching.